Hey guys, what's up? It's Erin here and today I am back with another video. Today I am going to be sharing a review of the Balami hair extensions. So I recently bought some hair extensions online, just clip-in ones, um, because my hair is severely damaged and I don't really want to cut it because I don't want to lose a ton of length. Like this is the longest my hair's been in years because I bleach it myself. Um, but as you can see from the side, I have this very uneven, almost chemical type of cut going on with my hair. And I just wanted to add some length. Like, I want length so bad. My sister has hair down to her butt cheeks. And I'm so envious of it. And I'm always like, oh, I wish I had long hair. So, I decided to purchase some hair extensions online. And I've bought hair extensions before. I bought some from Sally's when I was in high school. I'm going to put a picture on the screen no matter how embarrassing it is, um, at that time I had very, very short chemically cut hair and I wanted to go for the uh, scene look. So that was the last time I had clip-in hair extensions, so I just bought these. These are real human hair, so these are 100% Remy human hair. And again, they come from uh, Balami. I don't know if you can see that, the light's going to be... So this style is the Bellamy Bambina 160 gram 20 inch length in the number 60 color which is an ash blonde so I got these for $159 and I think that's a pretty good deal because you get 10 wefts so you get a 8 inch weft a 7 inch weft um, two 6 inch wefts two 4 inch wefts and uh, four 1.5 inch wefts and for me I have very thin hair so that's plenty for me so $159 on their site, it says that these should last three to six months depending on how you care for them and how often you're wearing them. To me, that's a pretty good deal. And the other thing that I wanted to consider here was if I liked the way they looked and if I liked the way that it felt, I'm considering just getting tape and extensions. But for now, I wanted to try this out. Plus, no salons are open, so I can't get tape and extensions even if I want to. So these hair extensions are 20 inches long and they are 160 grams. So they have different weights and lengths on their site. I believe they go down to either 16, no, 18 inches and then up to 22 inches. And then depending on that will depend on the weight of the hair. Um, for me, these work really well. I have very thin, fine hair and they actually blend into my hair very well. Um, when I wear it straight, it's a little more obvious, especially up front, because these pieces still are going to hang out the front. You cannot really attach your wefts right here unless they're going to be showing. Um, so you can kind of tell, but I feel like they blend pretty seamlessly and they look fairly natural. And then if I curl them, they look even more natural. So on that note, you can curl them, you can style them. I would definitely take precaution if you're going to get real human hair extensions and actually put the time and money into buying products to protect them. So a heat protectant spray, um, a conditioner of some sort, things like that. So I'm gonna show you what these look like. Now I'm gonna also clarify here that I already ran purple shampoo, shampoo through these. So when I got them, they had a more yellow color and my hair is very, very um, cool toned and almost silvery. And these had a more golden tone, not super golden, but too golden for my hair and they didn't offer my hair color by the way balami will match your hair color if you email them at info at balami balami.com they will um, match your hair color if you send them a picture of your hair in natural outdoor light so these are them and this is the how thick they are which i feel that's a pretty good thickness for all around all over your hair they're very soft, but they're also human hair, so they don't feel like um, silky soft like the way that a wig does. And again, I have already used purple shampoo on these. I just um, coated them in purple shampoo, let them sit for like 20 minutes, and then rinsed it out. But um, I did buy some toner, and I'd like to do a video on how to tone them. So this is what they look like, and I'll hold them up to my hair. Now they are a pretty solid match for my hair color and my hair color's got a lot of colors going on right now because my hair was red I saw all these pink tones and every time I lighten my hair more show up it's kind of weird um, but yeah so this is them and then I'm gonna show you each individual one to show you kind of the clips and what they look like so the clips are super nice I really appreciate the feature that they use so this is one of the long pieces um, but the clips have this let's see if it'll focus 
like this and then underneath they have a silicone strip right in here so that helps because it helps actually attach to your hair so that they're not going to slide through the day and i actually just learned a tip the other day um which i'm going to be sharing in an upcoming video on tips for your hair extensions at least your clip-in extensions but um i always used to try when i very first had them to separate my hair and then just push them as hard as i could right against my scalp but that is not how you're supposed to do it. So this definitely helps keep them in place. I'm going to install these and show you what they look like and then I will um, straighten them to match my hair and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so I just finished putting these in and I actually ended up having two of the 1.5 inches left and I'm gonna tell you why I do that personally. Again, I have really thin hair and so when I get mine way too close to my part line, I end up having pieces that show through. So I don't know if you can see this one, I might have to adjust um, because I oftentimes they start to show through, especially in the back, like my hair just throughout the day, if it moves, or if you're going to go outside and you're going to be in the wind, there's a chance that it's going to get blown and you're going to end up seeing where those extensions are actually clipped in. And if you're like me, you don't want that to happen. Some people probably don't care, but I personally do. Um, and this is definitely thick enough for me. Again, I have super thin hair. So for me, this is already matching the normal thickness of my hair. So now I'm going to go straighten them. They're already pretty straight, but I'm going to go straighten them, um, to kind of just blend everything together a little bit better. And then I'll come back and show you guys what they look like. Okay, so I just straightened them and this is what they look like now. So while I was in there, I noticed that you can start to see some of the original color of these that the purple shampoo is either wearing off or it didn't take well. Um, so I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is some that is slightly more golden toned and some that has the more silvery toned. And again, like it all kind of matches with my hair because my hair is kind of mismatched. Um, I'm gonna turn around and show you what they look like from the back. Um, so obviously you can see my hair here if I do that. Um, but for me, these blend super seamlessly. I'm really happy they're not uncomfortable to wear once you get them figured out and how to install them. When I was very first got them and I was trying to put them in the way that I used to put hair extensions in, um, by midday they were kind of bothering me. Since then I've put this up in a very large bun. I've put it up in a high pony and yesterday I had it in braids. So you can style it, you can wear it different ways. I've worn it with a hat. They are comfortable as long as you kind of figure out your style of getting them put in right. And again, for the money, I think that these are well worth it. Um, they also, I didn't mention this earlier, but Balami does do this thing. So they ship it to you in this package and just for, okay. I'm going to put this all in here like this. It comes like this. So the hair comes in this bottom part, but one of your 1.5 inch wefts comes in this little top compartment. So in this top compartment, you can open this up and take that weft out and attach it into your hair to see how the color matches up. 
um, in case you don't want to go through the dyeing process. They don't recommend that you dye your hair. They say that you can dye your extensions, but they don't highly recommend it. It's not obviously good for your real hair, so it's not good for hair extensions either. Um, so if it doesn't match the way that you thought it would match, you can just open this part and then you could still send it back and either get a replacement or a refund. Um, right here, you'll see that this says um, warranty void if removed. So this part, once you open this, you cannot send it back, but that's why they include the 1.5 inch weft up here so that you can take it out, try it in your own hair, and see if you like the color match. So um, yeah. I highly recommend these. I hope you guys will stick around. I'm gonna do some upcoming videos on how I style these, how I put them in really cute uh, boho braids and how I put it in into a high ponytail and also my tips and tricks on how to wear clip-in hair extensions and make them look the best that they can look. So um, if you wanna see those, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world to me um, as I'm trying to grow my channel. Go check out my Instagram and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.